What's up everyone, it's day two of Inktober, and today's prompt we're drawing Mystique from the Fortnite Marvel Edition. Let's get started in the center of our page with the upper eyelid. So we're gonna leave a gap in between the eyes. Let's move over towards the left side and draw a curve. Going up, out, and then down. Now I'm just gonna line this up on the right side and do the same thing. I'm gonna go up towards the top of the eye, and just bend that down on the outside. Let's connect the outside to the inside of the eyelid with a half circle. I'm gonna start on the outside, come down towards the bottom of the eye, and then pull that up. And then we'll add a thick lash along the top and side of the eyes. Let's start on the bottom left. I'm just gonna taper this up towards the top, and just pull this across, and then down on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up, and then out, come down, and then in towards the side, and then we'll fill the eyelash in black. Let's move in between the eyes and draw the nose. We're gonna start by lining up with the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center, and I'm start on the left side. I'm gonna curve down, and then up on the right. Now I'm gonna step up and draw a short curve, going up and down for the bridge of the nose. And now we're gonna step down and draw in the mouth. Let's start back over on the left side, curve up, and then down, and then we'll draw in the upper lip. In the center, we're gonna step up, start with a point. From here, we're gonna angle up and out towards the left, and right, and then from the top we'll curve out and down towards the outside corners of the mouth. Now we're gonna draw on the lower lip, starting back over on the left, come down the middle, and then up on the right side. Let's move all the way up to the top and draw a very simple skull charm. We start by drawing on a circle with an open end along the bottom. So we start on the left side, go around, down, and then in. And then from the bottom, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down the side. And it will close off the bottom with a straight line. And we'll add two circles along the top of the eyes. And then we'll fill those in black. Now the hair is going to sweep out from the side of the skull above the eyes. So let's start on the left side of the skull. Curve out and then down. And we'll round this out just up above the eye and just pull that out towards the side. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping over, curve out, and then down. Just gonna round this out, touch the top of the eye, and then out. And now I'm gonna layer the eyebrows in behind the hair. Let's start on the top left, curve in, and then down. Line this up on the right side, going up, and then out. Let's go back to the inside of the eyebrow and draw a short line going up. And we'll follow that same curve going up and out underneath the hair. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Let's fold the hair along the side of the head. Starting from the outside of the eye, it's gonna curve down and bend that out. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna tuck the lower half of the head in behind the hair. Let's start over on the left side, curve down, pull this underneath the mouth, go out towards the right, and then up underneath the hair. Let's go back up to the top and draw the outside of the hair. Starting from the top of the skull in the center, we're gonna start with a straight line going up towards the top of the head. Now I'm gonna work our way over towards the left side. Starting from the top, we start by curving up, rounding out the head, and then down. Let's do the same thing over on the right. Starting from the center, we're gonna go up, rounding out the head, and then just pull that down. Now the left side of the hair is gonna sit on top of the body, whereas the right side is gonna go in behind. So start on the left side, start by coming down, bending that out. And that's gonna pull that back in, rounding up the side, and then coming in. And then we'll layer the hair along the bottom, stepping up, out, down, and then in. 
I'm just gonna bend that back out. Rounding this out and then going out. Now we're gonna work our way back up towards the head. Starting from this bottom point, curve in and then up. Step back down, curve in and then up underneath the head. Let's add a little bit more texture along the bottom. Starting up here underneath the cheek, curve down and then in. Let's go up to the top, from the top of the skull, curve the hair going up and then down towards the left. Go back to the center, go up and then down towards the right. Now we're gonna finish the right side of the hair after we've drawn in the body. So let's start with the sides of the body first. Starting over on the left side, underneath the head, curve the body going out, and then down towards the hip. Move over towards the right, going out, and down towards the same height. Let's add a series of skulls across the belt. Starting right in the center, we're gonna draw a circle with an open end along the bottom. So we start on the left side, go around, up, and then back in. And then from the bottom, we draw a straight line coming down. Close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's draw another skull on either side. Starting over on the left, curve up, down, and then in. Now from here, I'm just gonna draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom. Go across, and then pull that up. I'm just gonna tuck this in behind that center skull. Let's do the same thing on the right. We'll line this up, go around, down, and then in. Straight down, across the bottom, up, and then we'll curve that in. And we'll do that again. Starting from the side, we're just going to go up towards the hip, down, and then in, straight down, across, up, and then tuck that in. Now we want to show that this belt curves around the hip, so I want to show the outside edge along the back. So we're going to step up, curve out, and then down. Same thing on the right. Let's go back to the center and draw on the eyes. You need a gap in the center, draw two straight angle lines going up and out. And then we'll connect the outside to the inside with a small half circle. And we'll fill the inside of the eyes in black. Let's do the same thing to the rest of the skulls. Now that we have the belt, let's move up and add some detail to the body. We're going to start on the top left. I'm just going to angle down and in. Line this up on the right. Do the same thing. I'm just going to pull this straight down on top of the belt. And then we'll trace this out along the inside. Start from the top of the body. Step in. Just follow this all the way in. And then back down towards the bottom. Let's add the collar. Starting just underneath the chin, we're going to start with a straight line going across. Go up and out towards the left and right. I'm just going to trace this out along the outside. And then halfway between this line and the skull, I'm just going to curve down and then in. And we'll add a trim along the bottom. Stepping up, let's trace that across. Now we're going to extend these two lines coming down underneath the belt towards the bottom. So let's start with that outside line, just underneath the skull. Draw a straight line coming down to right about there. Do the same thing on the right. And we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. And then just like we did along the top, we're just going to trace this out along the inside. Now the inside of the legs are going to get tucked in behind this flap. So let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, draw a straight line coming down towards the heel, on the left and right side. 
and then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left heel, curve the foot coming down and up towards the toe. Do the same thing on the right. Let's draw on the top of the feet. Starting from the toe, we're going to curve the foot going up. I'm just going to bend that down on the inside. Let's move up and draw on the outside leg. Starting from the base of the outside skull, curve the leg going out, down, and then in on top of the foot. Let's move back up to the top and draw a curve, coming down and then in for the edge of the shorts. Line this up on the right side. Now we step down and draw that twice, coming down and in. And then from the top of the foot, we're going to step up, draw another curve, coming down and up. And then we'll draw the inside edge of the shoes. Start from the outside, curve in and then down. And then from here, we're going to follow the same curve of the foot, coming in towards the heel. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. We're going to start halfway between the chin and the belt. So starting right here, we're going to curve out and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right side. And we'll do the same thing. Now our character is going to be holding two swords. So let's start with the thumb. Starting from the wrist, we're going to come down and then the thumb going out. Do the same thing on the right. Now from here, it's going to curve the thumb going up and then out. Now we're going to draw the hilt of the sword. We're going to connect the outside to the inside of the thumb with a circle, going around and then up. And we'll add two small circles on the inside, and we'll fill those in black. Now going to the outside, we're just going to curve out and then down. Go to the inside and curve in the opposite direction and just pull that back in towards the center circle. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curve in and down and just pull that back in. Let's wrap the fingers around the handle. We start on the left, curve up and in. Now the second finger is step up, curve up, then the arm going up and behind the hair. Do the same thing on the right. Start by going up and then in, and stepping back out, curve the second finger going up, round up the arm, and then pull that in underneath the head. Then we'll go back to the inside of the wrist, curve the cuff going out, and then up on both sides. Let's go to the top of the arm on the inside, curve up, and then out. Now before we draw on the swords, I want to go back up and finish off the hair. We start at the very top, come down and out, so we're going to round up the hair, come down and then in. Now we're going to do an overlap, stepping back, curve down and in behind the arm. And then we'll add that same curve over on the right side, coming down and in. Now we're going to twist the swords into a spiral, so let's start on the inside. Start by curving down and out, round up the outside, come in, and we'll bend that back out toward the tip of the sword. Now we're going to take that and flip it over on the right. Starting on the inside, come down and out, round up the outside, pull that back in, and we'll bend that back out toward the tip of the sword. Now we go to the outside of the hilt, curve out and then down towards that hump. Step back up, curve down, and then in towards that inside hump. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curve out, and then down. Go to the inside, come down, and then out. And then from the tip of the sword, we're gonna go up, and then in. Let's add that trim along the outside. Start from the top, we'll step in, just follow that same curve coming down, and then up along the inside. 
Let's do the same thing to the center section. We step down, out, and then back in. And I'll trace out the tip, stepping down, curve in and out. Do the same thing on the right. And that's pretty much it. There's Mystique from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.